want to talk about Boycott to Siri. Basically what happened is there's this author named Judith Newman and she's come out with her book detailing her life as a mother with her autistic son. What really irks me about this is first off it was brought to my attention by Amethyst. Brought to my attention by Amethyst. They do a lot of videos and awareness and lots of speaking uh, engagements as well and they were detailed very specifically in this book um i believe it was the term manic pixie dream girl or something like that and it was very focused on her appearance and talking about just briefly about her videos and which videos were recommended now amethyst was not contacted about being mentioned in this book, which is really disheartening. Um, I believe if anybody is mentioned in a book, you know, you might want to seek approval first. So that's not all that's wrong with this book. Um, from what I've been reading on Twitter mostly and Facebook as well, this book has a lot of negative connotations between a lot of negative connotations about people's, you know, like sexual orientation, um, from what I've heard, and talking about how Judith would like to get power of attorney when her son is of age, I believe, to get him sterilized, which is a form of eugenics. Um, you know, what my stance on this whole thing is, it's my story to tell. It's nobody else's story to tell. It's my body. It's nobody else's body. And it's my choice. And she's also said to people, oh, well, you haven't read the book, so read the book. Then she comes out and says, well, my book's not meant for autistic individuals. It's meant for people who have somebody who's autistic in their life kind of thing. And you can't really make both statements and then expect people to not question the validity of such statements and that really irks me because I had so much trouble in my childhood and even like when I was a teenager that it was hard enough as it was right so if somebody comes out and then they're like talking about all the negative things that I struggle with and really personal details I would be pretty upset I would not be happy about that and I would not want somebody to like take credit for my story because again it's my story to tell nobody else's. She also decided to use the hashtag actually autistic which is not for her. It's for the actually autistic people and that hashtag was probably created, I don't know for sure but I'm just saying. It was probably created because the term autistic has been used as an insult, which I have another video about. And it's not an insult. It's not. It's our way of life. And for people that are unfamiliar with people that are autistic, get to know us, become our ally. Don't say that this book is amazing. You know, if you say this book is amazing, you clearly haven't done your research and you clearly haven't seen how outrageous and wrong this kind of book is. It's very um, demeaning towards our community and even not necessarily community, individuals themselves. And I just can't stress the fact also that Autism Speaks is mentioned in the book and look it up, look up why Autism Speaks is so bad and really, if they want us to be cured, there's so many things that they're doing to try to make that happen. And unfortunately, that's not okay. Um, yeah, why would you want to cure people that are autistic? We have a lot to offer the world and we have a very unique and fresh perspective. We are almost like the missing link you know we make things happen and i'm not saying that neurotypical people don't make things happen but we make things happen in a very unique fashion so please look at the hashtag 
hashtag boycott to Surrey Siri S I R I. So hashtag B O Y C O T T T O S I R I. On Twitter, look up Amethyst, Shiver. Um, I'll link everything below, but you need to just look up this, look this up and see what is happening because it's really not okay and we're not okay with it. We're really just, you know, stand with us, be our allies, find out why we need your assistance and why you should not donate to Autism Speaks, preferably not buy this book. Um, and uh, also tweet out to Harper Collins, the publisher, and let them know why this is not okay. A lot of people have already tried, but we would like a really detailed apology. I think it's kind of what we deserve since Judith Newman has decided to block people that have been calling her out. Thank you so much for watching my video.